ओके नाउ इन कंटिन्यूशन यू पीपल सॉ इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी एक्चुअली कॉन्फिगर द राउटिंग यूजिंग द ओ एस पी एफ प्रोटोकॉल बाई डिक्लेयरिंग एरिया जीरो एरिया वन एंड एरिया टू अगेन रिमेंबर देर आर फोर नेटवर्क नाउ आउट ऑफ फोर नेटवर्क टू नेटवर्क विच इज देर इन द सेंटर यू ऑल कैन सी वेर ऑल द थ्री राउटर्स आर देर बिलोंग्स टू एरिया जीरो एंड द नेटवर्क आर टेन पॉइंट वन पॉइंट वन पॉइंट जीरो एंड टेन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट टू पॉइंट जीरो नाउ लेट्स कम टू द प्रैक्टिकल पार्ट वॉट दे डू दैट इज वी हैव टू कॉन्फिगर द ओ एस पी एफ विथ एम डी फाइव ऑथेंटिकेशन एम डी फाइव इज द अलगॉर्दम विच इज यूज टू कैलकुलेट मैसेज डाइजेस्ट विच एक्ट एज अ डिजिटल सिग्नेचर एंड वी आर यूजिंग दैट अलगॉर्दम फॉर द ऑथेंटिकेशन पर्पज सो वेन एवर द राउटर रिसीव्स अ पर्टिकुलर पैकेट इट विल कैलकुलेट द मैसेज डाइजेस एंड डज द कंपेरिजन एंड अकॉर्डिंगली एक्सेप्ट द पैकेट विल नॉट गो मच इन डिटेल हियर देख हाउ द एम डी फाइव वर्क एंड हाउ द राउटर कैलकुलेट्स इट्स ओन मैसेज डाइजेस एंड हाउ इट शोज एंड हाउ इट कंपेयर वेल ट्राई टू फोकस ऑन द प्रैक्टिकल हियर सो लेट सी हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर ओ एस पी एफ राउटिंग और प्रोटोकॉल विद द एम डी फाइव ऑथेंटिकेशन स्कीम एंड हाउ टू डू दैट लेट्स सी सो विल क्लिक ऑन द आर वन हियो यू ऑल कैन सी द राउटर आर वन हियो ओके विच इज कनेक्टेड टू द टू नेटवर्क वन ऑन लेफ्ट एंड वन ऑन द राइट ऑन द लेफ्ट वी आर नॉट एट ऑल एक्चुअली बॉर्डर नाउ बिकॉज इट बिलोंग्स टू एरिया वन वी आर एक्चुअली द कंसर्न इज एरिया जीरो सो राउटर आर वन इन साइड द एरिया जीरो इज कनेक्टेड टू ओनली वन नेटवर्क दैट इज टेन पॉइंट वन पॉइंट वन पॉइंट जीरो सो विल गो टू द राउटर आर वन गो टू सी एल आई टैप क्लिक एंटर क्लिक इनेबल ई एन get in the get into the configuration mode con ft you are in the configuration mode now so now you have to configure the router with ospf1 which you already did i'm just giving the same process id so i'll get into the configuration router mode now here i have to just mention that it belongs to area 0 so i'm writing the command area 0 I want to implement authentication scheme, so I'm writing authentication scheme. I'll just put the space here. Yeah, area zero authentication. Using which algorithm? Of course, message message digest in our case. So message hyphen digest. So this is a command. Okay, a way to mention that I want to have a authentic authentication scheme. in this area 0 which i have built it using protocol ospf enter and this command you have to do like fire this two commands for other two routers also for r2 and r3 also but now here i'll focus on the router r1 fine now moving on let me complete all the commands for r1 first now you have to again click on exit because we have to set the password okay so click again enter and click exit so you are back in the configuration mode and we'll set the password for generating the digest so we have to mention it now i hope you all can see that r1 is connected to this interface we are focusing on the area 0 So I'll just close this or minimize this, and I'll put the mouse here, so that I'll come to know. Okay, fine. The serial interface on the right hand side is SE zero slash one slash zero. Okay, so coming back to the CLI mode. So now I'll mention the interface. You can write short form also, or otherwise you can write interface full word. So interface SE zero. Slash zero, sorry, not one. It is one zero one, then slash zero, serial zero one zero. In our case, okay. Why I'm only focusing on that interface because it belongs to area zero. I'll click enter. So now I'm into configuration interface mode. So I'll just mention now the password, okay, along with the key to remember. So IP. 
protocol then ospf protocol then i'm mentioning the message hyphen digest hyphen key so i'm giving the key to generate the message digest and this will be the key id one okay which router also will save md5 that's the algorithm and the password you can give any password you want to give i'm giving just what they have asked for so md5 while watching this video you can actually start referring the manual okay from the university so that parallel you will understand like how the commands i'm getting like i'm firing here and you will understand the meaning and then click enter so this what i have written here mdpa55 is nothing but a password or a key which will be used to generate the message digest which will again that message digest will be acting as a digital signature will be used to authenticate and then click enter and this is done we are done with the router r1 so basically how many commands i have fired here let me revise router ospf1 configuring it i want to set the authentication mode a for area 0 using message digest algorithm then router was configured then i typed exit to get into the configuration mode because i wanted to configure now the interface and only that interface which lies in the area 0 which is se010 in this case i have fired the command setting the key and given the password and we are done similarly i have to do this for router r2 also okay so stay tuned i'll close this now i'll go to the r2 okay now people have to help me out here kindly have a look so i'll just enable it get myself into configuration mode of the router so i'm now in the configuration mode so the first command i have to fire is router ospf1 like i did before while configuring the routing scheme of ospf protocol now here i am the configuration router mode same command i have to fire here that it belongs to area 0 and i want to have a authentication scheme message hyphen digest is the algorithm i want to use and then click enter we are done with the configuration router now we'll configure the interfaces okay before we do that just have a look r2 have two interface two network it is connected to why the concern is like both the networks are the concern because both the network belongs to area 0 only so now i'll click on exit okay i'll select the interface first so as i know the interface is se0/1/0 which is on the left hand side click enter and let's configure the interface now so i have to just mention ip the same command okay if something this happen like just wait for a while and then click enter okay you will be back So now type ip ospf message hyphen digest hyphen key 1 and the same password by mentioning the algorithm name md5 and the password is md5 pa55 okay that's the password phrase and then click enter okay this i did for interface for the left hand side there is one more interface so i'll again click exit i'm back in the configuration mode now i'll go ahead and configure the interface the second interface that like is if i like if you are not able to see then you can place the mouse and please verify that it is yeah se011 so go back se 0/1/1 enter so now in the configuration interface mode and fire the same command ip os pf 
मैसेज हाइफन डाइजेस हाइफन की द की आई डी इज वन मैंशनिंग द एलगोर दम एम डी फाइव एंड द पासवर्ड फ्रेज एम डी फाइव पी ए डबल फाइव एंटर सो नाउ फॉर राउटर नंबर टू ऑथेंटिकेशन पार्ट इज डन नाउ ओनली राउटर आर थ्री इज रिमेनिंग सो आई जस्ट क्लोज दिस डायरेक्टली आई गो टू आर थ्री एंटर इनेबल एट देन कॉन्फिग्रेशन मोड इन द केस ऑफ आर थ्री only one network is there on the left hand side you can see which belongs to area number 0 so we have to do it only for one interface that is the interface is se011 okay so configuration mode you are in then fire the command router ospf 1 now you are in the router configuring router mode then mention area 0 authentication message hyphen digest only single hyphen okay after mentioning that exit get yourself into configuring interface mode so mention the interface int se 0/1/1 now we are in the configuration interface mode and just fire fire the final command that is same for all that is ip ospf message digest hyphen key which is 1 mentioning the algorithm md5 and the password phrases md5 pa double 5 enter okay you can simply click exit you are done with this part basically enter you are done with this part like configuring md5 authentication with the ospf routing scheme and how to verify it like whether the job is done or not you just have to fire one simple command like this show ip ospf okay so you are in the configuration mode so that's why this command is not working here so again exit so now you are asking router directly that like show me ip ospf enter and you will get everything in detail and this is what examiner seek for you can fire the same command for r2 and r3 and r2 and you will see that all the details will be placed here whatever configuration you have done that's all guys from this video if you really like this video press like button and do subscribe to our channel if any queries or suggestions do comment below for more such update follow us on instagram and facebook